Many of you love going to saunas and steam baths to unwind and relax. But when it comes to safety, does the sauna you go to observe the guidelines when it comes to temperature? In September 2019, an explosion was reported at a health club in Nalia, resulting in several injuries. Another explosion occurred in July 2021 at Experience in Health Club, claiming two lives. Following these experiences, the National Building Review Board carried out a study which found that 90% of the 21 health clubs studied are potentially explosive. The study found out that their safety relies on the person responsible for the firewood, which is a risky situation. Now these ones, where somebody just goes behind and keeps putting in firewood, they keep putting in firewood until you say it is too hot, isn't it? That's what happens. So you regulate the pressure for yourself. If by mistake he gives more firewood than required, the temperature goes up and you explode. Flavia Buire highlights that many of these wood-fired systems lack engineering principles in their design and installation, relying on skills obtained through their own job experience. We also discovered that none of them has been, has been designed and installed by a qualified person. Of all the wood-fired steam baths that we, that, we have, that we have visited, none of them has a signature or a stamp of a registered engineer. Electric type saunas have pre-installed precautionary measures against systems overloads and matter wood-fired ones lack. The ones that use electricity come with their inherent protective system. You have a regulator for pressure, you have a regulator for temperature, you have a regulator for everything. The National Building Review Board recommends installation of specific guidelines including timers, temperature monitors and pressure controls among other safety measures. As a human being when you get into the sauna, you're supposed to be exposed to this pressure, to this steam, sorry, for a particular period of time. But some of these saunas even don't have timers. So you get in until you're tired and you get out. The board had this to say about the penalties the health clubs face. Incidentally, the penalties as per the Building Control Act only arise after, after a problem. And we are saying that is not fair. Should we wait for Ugandans to die, then we say you failed to do your job and therefore you should pay. There is no cost that is equivalent to life. The board has emphasized the need for building committees to identify the location of all existing health clubs using wood fire steam baths and sauna heaters. They must review all applications for health club establishments with a particular focus on the safety provisions in their design and installations. Nobat, Atkunda, NTV, tonight.